Yo, what's going on guys? This is Win, and welcome back to another video. We just got two brand new PlayStation Edition Backbone controller cases in the studio today. Compliments of my friend Courage, who is one of my favorite streamers. He's actually an advisor and an investor, I believe, in Backbone. So he sent us a little card here. I'll read it for you guys. It says, Hi, Winsanity. As an advisor to Backbone, I'm excited to present the Backbone 1 PlayStation Edition. Backbone has been working with PlayStation Hero device for mobile gaming. This special edition device was inspired by the design of the PS5 DualSense wireless controller. Can't wait for you to try it from Courage and the Backbone team. So shout out to Courage and Backbone for hooking me up with two of these bad boys. Obviously we'll open one and I'm still figuring out what I wanna do with this other one. Maybe a giveaway, I'm not sure yet, but let's set this to the side and get into this Backbone PlayStation Edition. So here it is, the Backbone PlayStation Edition. And like Courage's card said, this was modeled after, you guessed it, a PlayStation 5 controller. So I'll have one of these handy just to kind of show you guys exactly how close to this design they were able to get. And I just have to say, I've been really impressed with Backbone. I feel like a couple years ago, they came out of nowhere and now their products are like some of the highest quality mobile gaming accessories that you can get, even going as far as collaborating with official PlayStation. That is super cool for a startup company like Backbone. So here's the back of the box as well. We've got multiple languages, um, a little bit of a breakdown of how this works. Um, a couple buttons on here, like there's a Backbone button. Obviously that's not on the PlayStation controller, but it is on this controller. Your phone goes in the middle and snaps in with the lightning port. So this is made specifically for Apple. All right, here we go. I'm actually really excited for this. So this is just a sleeve, slides out, and we have the backbone. Snap in, game on. Oh, okay, so this is actually a little bonus box, a box in a box. We have an adapter for the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. It's, it's just a kind of rubbery adapter to fit in there for these particular models of phones. So this was 13 Pro, 13 Pro Max. We might need this for the 14 Pro Max. The actual unit itself, oh, card popped out there. So this is it. It's kind of like a rubbery, like matte feel. Very nice. We've got the D-pad down here. Now this is different from a PS5 controller. Obviously the analogs are symmetrical, whereas this one decided to go with kind of up here. This almost has a feel of like a Nintendo Switch. We've also got two triggers. These triggers go back a little bit, a little bit of travel distance there. Yeah, the, like most of these buttons are very like muted. So something that you will need right off the bat is the Backbone app, which I've gone ahead and downloaded and you get through a couple interfaces and then you can't get too far before it says you have to connect the Backbone to continue. And the question I have is actually, am I gonna be able to use this with the case? Yeah, definitely cannot work with a case. So I'm gonna have to take this off. Oh, this may not be compatible with the 14s. I figured it out. If you guys are nerds and you are into this type of stuff, this is what happened. So I've got the 12 Pro Max. The cameras are very, not that tall, right? The camera doesn't stick up too much, not a problem. However, on the 13, I was curious, right? So this adapter is made for the 13. These cameras stick up like another millimeter and it presents a little bit of an issue for the backbone and that similar camera problem is on the 14 as well. Now, this adapter actually, now I, now that I figured out how it works, this is pretty nifty. So this rubber piece snaps in right here and it kind of raises the, uh, the grip a bit so that it can still hold the phone. So see how this rubber has like raised it up a little bit? So the phone slots in here and is still secure. Actually, that's really cool and I feel pretty good knowing that like this phone is compatible. I was kind of nervous that this new model of phone wasn't gonna work. There we go. Just like that. And all right, welcome to Backbone. So on the bottom, you have on the right, you have a lightning pass through right here and you have an aux right here as well, which is super cool. Welcome to Backbone. Next level play is now in your hands. Sign in with Apple, sign in with Google. Um, I'm gonna sign in with Apple. I mean, I would only ever use this with Apple, right? Free games and access to cloud gaming services like Xbox Game Pass Elite, capture, edit, and share gameplay. All your games in one place. So if you guys haven't realized by now, this will literally turn your phone into what is essentially a portable console. It is really, really cool. Share great moments, record unlimited gameplay at 1080p 30 FPS. Really? Unlimited, you say? Secure your bragging rights. Press the square here, the share button to record gameplay. Hold to take a screenshot. Okay, that's really cool. Content creators, we love stuff like that. Find games that support controller on the app store, the Rocket Games tab. They'll have this icon, okay. 
you're good to go. Press the backbone button anytime to open backbone. So one of the cool things about this, and you'll see right on the box, is there's PS Remote Play. So if I'm correct in saying that, I think you can literally just start playing like your PS5 games on your phone in bed. I don't think you need this controller per se, but this certainly helps. So something that I really wanted to test before we get into the gameplay is if I can stream. So here's an adapter that you normally would plug into the side of the phone to stream HDMI and power. Will this port at the bottom work as a pass through? And unfortunately, what you'll see is we get a pop-up that says this is not possible. It's really not Backbone's fault. It looks like it's a limitation on Apple's side, but this is disappointing because how cool would it have been to be able to stream like this with an adapter just coming out the bottom, man. This would have been super awesome, but unfortunately, we're kind of getting to the limits of technology and streaming right now, and this is uncharted territory. So maybe in the future, we'll have something like that. But anyway, let's get to the gameplay. Ooh, the gyro really helped with that. Oh, come on, gyro, yes! Oh, okay. okay, it's fine. Oh, there was a guy right there. Okay, we're only down by four though. Not bad. Oh, dude, I should have knifed him. All right, let's go, dude. I was about to bop him on the stairs if he was coming up. Oh, this is cool. So you can actually like do like a hybrid. This didn't work in COD, but you can do like controller and touch screen if you really wanted to. Leave him alone. I'll save you. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, I just died. What the frick? It literally, I spawned into fire, dude. Okay, hold on. I gotta go here, here. Controller, okay. Oh my god, I'm 1 HP, dude. Ooh, all right, let's go. All right, well, there you go. There's Backbone in a nutshell. It was super fun. It just looks beautiful. They really capture just the appeal and aesthetic of a PlayStation 5 controller, which I guess is what happens when you work with PlayStation directly. But overall, I have to say I am impressed. I really like this. We've reviewed a lot of controllers recently, but this one really does stand up against some of the other ones, even though it is a different design. And when you're done, just pop it out and boom, this can go right in your backpack. And you know, you don't have to really carry around kind of a big, and uh, bulky controller. This is very small and you can go right back to using your phone like normal. So anyway, thank you so much to you guys for watching this video. Thank you to Courage and Backbone for sending me two controllers and uh, letting me test them out. Really appreciate it. And that's all I have for you guys. So if you wanna check out another controller video, we'll link one here at the end of this one, but that's all we have. So we will see you guys next time.